I'm Tracy Beaker. Welcome to my first Youth Side View column. Writing's my proper job, but I'm an ex-care kid who's done a right for herself. So I help out a bit at the dumping ground where I grew up. Everyone's been having such a laugh since I arrived. I'm a role model for the kids. Because they know I've been where they are now, and I'm there for them. They rely on me for advice and someone to lean on. We're supposed to wait until Tracy helped you move room. She did wait, but Tracy never turned up. She never does anything she's supposed to. Hey. You're going to be late again. It's my first column. I need it to be great. Now, what you need is to not get fired so you can pay me back the money you owe me. I got the job, didn't I? Yes, and now you're going to lose it. Fine. Then. Hey. Oh, is Tracy here then? No. Lily seems to have up. Mm, let's hope she sleeps better now she's sharing. If Carmen stops yakking long enough to let her, that was a good idea, Tracy. Well, when she shows up for work, I will be sure to thank her. Mm -hmm. TV Girls Tour was supposed to start after my piano practice at 9.40. It's 9.57. Mm -hmm. She'll be here soon, Gus. Yesterday, soon was 26 minutes late. And you said it was too late for her to do my tour. Well, I'm sure she won't be too late today. Soon. So how long is today soon? Yes, Mike. How long is it? OK, I'll go and ring her. Tracy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hi, Rob. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just had social services on the phone. Liam's coming back. Brilliant. He's not been arrested again, has he? No, something around a minor explosion, apparently. No, 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 no. No one's been hurt. Right. Well, there's still no Tracy, so I guess I better make up his room. Tracy, you're over an hour late. I know, I'm really sorry. I was working on my column. It's the first one, it's kind of a big deal. And so is this job. Mm. What an honor. Now, take that, so I talk Carmen's old room. Oh, Liam's coming back. How come? It didn't work out with his foster family. I thought you convinced him to give him another chance. <laughs> so did I. <laughs> Tracy, the tour starts upstairs. Oh, Gus, can we do this later? I'm busy now. No, you promised me you'd do my tour, and I can't do anything till I've crossed the tour off my list. I can't cross the tour off my list till you've done it. This is T's room. T the girl is spelt with two E's, but T the drink is spelt with an E and an A. Hiya. Oh, I was going to do that with you. Yeah, yesterday. I'm so sorry. No talking on the tour. You'll hold us up and we're late already. This is Harry's room. Harry has a toy giraffe called Jeff. He thinks Jeff can talk. He can't. Well, maybe you've never heard him. Toys can't talk and you can't talk on my tour. Sapphire's room. Without knocking, she throws things. When you knock, she shouts, Go away. Go away! <laughs> this was Lily's room, but now it's Lily and Carmen's, Carmen's room. room. No talking, you're on the tour, you're spoiling it. Okay, okay, I won't, I promise. You don't keep the promises. I do. Don't? We're not talking to her. What did I do? If you don't know, we're not telling you. Stop! Talking! Oh, I said I'd help you move rooms. Talking! Hang on. Look, girls, I'm really sorry, but... You're doing it again! Stop talking! <sighs> Tracy Beaker promises not to talk in Gus's tool. There. <laughs> Gus! Now what did I do? Oh. Gus! Oh, 
Now the tour is over, you can get on and do some work, yeah? Go on. That way. Yeah. Hi, Liam. Where is he? It's right behind me. Liam? Oh, come on. It's only 10 metres between here and the car. We can't have lost him already. Come in. Oh, for goodness sake, Liam. Could you not come in the front door like everybody else? What did you think you were doing, huh? What, you wanted to end up a pile of broken bones on the floor? Oh, nice to see you too, Gina. That's where I'm staying then. The Pink Palace, my favourite. Well painted. Entertainment's better than I remember. She works here. Oh, hey, Liam. Why ain't career going well, then? Oh, we met in prison. We met at the police station. Heard you were coming back. You OK? Why wouldn't I be? Because you're back here and not with your foster family. Yeah, but... You didn't have a big bedroom. <laughs> or a Frank. Let's talk. Uh, just Liam, Frank. But it only just got here. Tell you what, I'm making lunch today. How about I make you a burger? She'll forget. I won't. Take it, mate. Burger. Deal. <laughs> Come on. You don't have to pretend with me. Pretend about what? Being back here sucks, right? Well, it's not that bad. I've been done by hundreds of foster parents, it sucks. But it's OK. Really? I was gutted every time I got sent back here. Well, I'm good. Fine. Well, you have to decide you want to sure. talk? Sure. Um, are we done? Cos... <laughs> we don't want to catch up with Frank. Sure. <laughs> the little girl stood up. Where's Liam's file? Ex-residence drawer. I haven't had a chance to move it. Tracy, I need to talk to you about your timekeeping and the way you've just... Oh, look, I'm sorry I've been a bit all over the place. It's my first week. I'm trying to get my column right. I'll sort it, I promise. Hey, Liam's been returned five times. He could be a handful. Says he always takes it well. Yeah, well, not everybody breaks things like you used to. Ah, <laughs> funny. I just think he's not that surprised anymore. Yeah, but it's still not... Remember, you're doing lunch. Normal. Find Liam and his posse and get them to clear up the kitchen, will you? Mike, I can't believe you never showed me this. Uh, Tracy, I don't know what that is, but it can wait till I've cleaned off, eh? No, it can't. It's a letter from my mum I've never seen before, with a note attached from you saying not to show it to me. Oh, this is really old. I'm sorry, Tracy. This should have been in your red file when you left us. <gasps> screwed up in the filing cabinet. I don't know how that happened. I'm, I'm sorry, it was a bad mistake. The mistake was not showing it to me when it arrived. We did what we thought was best at the time. It's a letter from my birth mum. Yes, saying that she might visit and she'd always let you down before. 
So Cam and I thought it was best not to show you until we'd had some confirmation. Cam knew about this? Well, yes, but... No. Good. Nearly. Nearly. Now! Yes. How come you're making lunch? Where's Tracy? She's, uh, she's nipped out. I'll explain later. He means he'll tell you when we're not about. <laughs> Shall I, Tracy, not doing lunch to my list of what she's done wrong? Don't mm -hmm. thank you, Gus. Go sit down. I want I'm chips. Can we have chips? Well, let's see. She was late for work. My she didn't help calm and move rooms. She wrote in my book, not doing lunch makes four. Uh, I hate you. <laughs> Yeah, well, Tracy isn't here, is she, Frank? I'm definitely adding Frank's burger to my list. You've got oh, my fault. Give her a break. She hasn't been here long. What do you think people thought of you when you first arrived? You were strange. Yeah, well, you think your giraffe talks. Yeah, I'll probably I'll do it. I bet Tracy's done some good stuff, too. You should make a list of stuff that she's done right since she's been here. She helped me out at the cop shop. Oh, yes, and, and Tracy's criminal record is an inspiration to us all. Tracy? What are you doing back? Oh, don't tell me you've got fired. Why are you bringing this up? This is five years old. I thought you knew. If I knew about it, I'd have said something. Well, we were trying to protect you. And we were right. She never even applied for visiting rights. You should have told me. At least I'd have known she was thinking about me. I'm sorry. It felt like the right thing to do at the time. What the secrets have you kept from me? If I got a dad somewhere out there I don't know about? Brothers? Sisters? Am I twins? Tracy, just calm down. We can talk I about I trusted after... you and you betrayed me. I'll never be able to trust you again. Oh, well, now you know how I felt after you stole my money. Doesn't go in there. Goes in the cockroach bin. Tracy? What? This can't go on. You have been late for work every day. And when you're meant to do lunch, you go out and worse and even more unforgivable is that you keep on breaking your promises to the kids. I do not! Oh, that's Carmen, Lily, Frank, Goss. Hmm? You keep letting them down and it happens every day. And you, out of all people, should know you cannot break your promise to children in care. So come on, Tracy. You better get your act together, otherwise you're out. You can't fire me. You're not in charge. Only Mike can fire me. Tracy. <laughs> Kids, go on. Off you go. If you don't mind, Gina, I'll deal with this. Oh. I've let things slide because I thought you'd find your feet. But your behaviour today has been completely unacceptable. And if you don't change your attitude, well, we're going to have to let you go. <sighs> let me save you the trouble. I quit. Keep on running.
So why'd you come back to the dumping ground? Needed a job. Yeah, but here. You don't have to pretend with me. What? Being back here, it sucks, right? <laughs> oh, I worked so hard to get away from this place and now I'm back. Well, I was. And you showed some back there. Oh, everyone was watching, weren't they? Not everyone, but the people who weren't, they had it acted out from. <laughs> it was a laugh. I quit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what was I thinking? Oh, forget it. It's done. You don't see me crying over something I can't change. You want to see someone cry? Go write in Gus's notebook. Who told you? <laughs> he did, of course. Well, that's your lean time up. So drink up and shove off. <laughs> yeah. Takes a bit of getting used to. <laughs> really sorry about earlier. It's okay. No, it's not okay. I made a mistake. I, I want to stay. I'm sorry, Tracy, but it's not that simple. <laughs> but look, look. I don't think that you made a mistake. I think I did. The whole business with the letter has shown me just how hard it is for you to come back. I shouldn't have said you could come and work here. I can do it. I'll turn up to work on time. I won't make any promises I can't keep. I'll make it up to the children. Please, Mike. I need this job. Okay. I'm sorry, Tracy. It's been a really tough decision. But, but it's for the best. As much as I would like to help you, the kids come first. I have to do what's best for them. I have a list to read out. Oh, um, can we hear it later? Yes, you can hear it later, but you need to hear it now, too. Okay. Things Tracy has done right. Rosie says Tracy makes her laugh. Lily says Tracy's the only other person Poppy lets tie her shoelaces. Sapphire says Tracy was rude to a boy who phoned her. She says that's a good thing. <laughs> Liam says he likes it with Tracy in because he's not the only one causing trouble. That might have been a joke. Jeff likes Tracy, Gus. <laughs> T says Tracy makes uh, okay. Thanks, Gus. Thanks. I have 11 more things Tracy has done right things on my list. <laughs> well, that's OK, but I, I think I've got your point. Yeah. Now, why don't you leave us alone, please? Tracy and I need to talk. Seems like the kids want you to stay. And if you do, you are making a huge commitment to these children, right? You can't keep letting them down. I won't. I promise. I know I've got to stop living in the past and move on. All right. How are you going to do that? I have no idea. But... I think I know where to start. So, I guess what I want to say is, sometimes having a fresh start doesn't mean doing something completely new. Sometimes it means doing something you've done before, but in a new way. Moving forward instead of looking back. A wise young man told me something this afternoon, which made me realise, tomorrow starts today. This is my first column and my fresh start. So, to all my readers, Happy New Life Eve. Yeah!